How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and today in this episode we're going to look at how to farm Duke Fisheron AFK and get all that sweet, sweet loot that he drops. So I'm going to explain how this trap works in this episode, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is explain the main parts of this trap and how it works against Duke Fisheron. Okay, so what we've got here is your typical slime statue setup. Um, the point of using a slime statue is to give you invulnerability versus Duke Fisheron. So what I've got here is a teleporter linked up to the box. Um, so when you click this switch, it puts you inside the trap and that just saves you mucking around having to destroy everything to get in. Alright, this one second timer is hooked up three times to the slime statue and three times to the heart statue. And what that does is when you turn it on, it'll start spawning slimes and hearts. And basically all you need to do is kill that shark. Uh, the point of doing this is there's something called monster rank in Terraria. And the higher rank monsters will always hit you first. So if you can kill a few slimes, so you just kill a couple, you know, 10 or so. And then the slime that's hitting you will take rank over Duke Fishron, meaning it'll always attack first. Okay, next thing we need to do is start our trap. And I've got the bat statue hooked up to timers. And I'll just turn that off for a second. So I'll give you a quick look at it. Basically, when you turn this on, the bat flies down, hits the switch, switches, which turns on each one second timer. And that in turn turns on the actuated spears which will attack about 0.3 of a second after the other ones. Um, so that gives you a lot of damage against Duke Fishron while it's flying around. And the spears are spaced out because these are the two main areas he flies around while he's fighting you. Okay, so I'll just put the wiring up if you want to have another quick look. And it's activated by this switch up here, which turns on the bat trap. Okay, so I'll jump back in the trap. Turn back us, turn back on the slimes and the hearts, so we've got those going. Now we'll turn on the spears. And you can see the bat dies in the lava at the end. And you can see the spears are just attacking just a tiny bit of a second after each other. Alright, so once we've killed a few slimes, we need to quickly summon our ravens. Um, look, if you want a summoning guide, I'm more than happy to do one. Basically, the Papyrus Scarab and the Necromantic Scroll give you an extra summon. Spooky Legon, I mean, Spooky Armor gives you extra damage on your Raven Staff. So I've got it up to 91. You can push it further. I've got another video where we get it over 100. Um, it's not critical for Duke Fishron, so don't stress too much. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Oh, no, you get about 8 Ravens. You can equip the Pygmy Necklace to get another one. And whoops, made a little mistake there. You're supposed to have the Hercules Beetle equipped as well. Gives them a bit of extra damage. Okay, then you equip the Pygmy Necklace to get an extra one. Then if you really want to maximize your damage, you can equip the Tiki Sat, which gives you yet another bonus uh, Raven. All right, we're almost there. Kill a few more slimes. Now here's the critical bit. You punch a hole in your wall Get your fishing rod and throw it into the ocean. Have an ice block ready to plug the hole back up. And here he comes. And it should, should uh, keep you pretty safe. So you can see uh, the trap does a fair bit of damage to Duke Fishron. Um, and when he stops, he's normally near the spears. If you want to get more damage out of your spears, change your Avenger Emblem, which gives damage to the Lucky Golem's Eye, which adds 14% crit chance. And you'll notice the spears start to do more of the larger orange numbers. Um, and that's showing spears actually get critical strike based on your critical chance. So that's a really good way to increase your damage and speed this up. <clears throat> so it's a really safe way to farm Duke Fishron. It's pretty quick. Um, it kills him in about a minute. Uh, probably even a bit less, to be honest. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much invincible from everything he can summon. So all his attacks, his tornado attacks, his body. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
And what I generally do, uh, you notice I've got three truffle worms. What I like to do is summon, you know, three to five of them in a row. Uh, just because once you've got the trap set up, um, you should, you know, you're pretty much invincible as long as you don't change anything. Okay, so we'll just wait for it to kill him. He's almost done. Almost done. I feel like I'm talking about a cake. And he's nearly done. <laughs> okay. Now there is one little trick when you actually kill him. You shouldn't turn the trap off straight away and I'll explain why. Okay, so he's dead. Yes, it dropped a Flareon. Awesome. Don't turn your trap and kill your slime straight away because the tornado will kill you. Um, so we can turn off the spear trap. We'll turn off the heart statue and just wait for those uh, that tornado to disappear before you jump out. All right, and all that's left, let's put our movement items back on, pick up our loot, and I'll just show you I've been farming it a few times. Uh, this is a great trap to farm greater healing potions. You get the trophy, the flareons, you get razor blade typhoons, the mask, you get the fishron rings, the temper staff. The fish on rings are amazing. Can I just say, on a small world, they will fly you straight up to space. That's how good they are. They are at least three times better than the Christmas wings. I can't believe how much better they are. Okay, uh, so you can ease, and the bubble gun, sorry. So you can farm all the fish on items really easily with this. Uh, quick shout out, I was just chatting to Icicle27 on uh, Steam. Please add me on Steam, the link's on my uh, homepage. I love uh, playing games with you guys and chatting about all these awesome games we cover. Also, if you're interested in learning more about wiring, tune into our weekly show called The Weekly Wire, where I actually take the time to make the trap from scratch if you're interested in seeing how to build it and not just copy it from a video. Um, also, what's important with The Weekly Wire show is if I do actually do requests. So if there's something you're trying to build, I'm more than happy to show you how to build it and how to wire it and get it all set up and working. Um, I love using wire and making traps with it. It's a lot of fun. So if you want to see any bosses AFK, any traps, farm solar eclipse, things like that, let me know in the comments. And uh, apart from that, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope it's been useful. Now you can go out and farm that fishy fiend Duke Fisheron and get all that amazing loot that you can see in the treasure box here. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I love having all you guys here on this channel. This is amazing. And as always, stay happy and I'll see you next time. Happy days signing out.